That's uh, that's great, horse. What have you got there? Where'd the other one go? Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll find them. Should we set up a target? Yeah. Alright, we just got some bunch of hardwood shafts and some feathers and these little sticky points so we could shoot the bow and arrow in the house and also have kids running around the yard shooting stuff without fear of losing an eye. Uh, I got Jack to shoot me in the ass this morning. Uh, they do sting quite a bit. What happened to put the your pants down. Yeah, what happened to the bear ass? I can't put my pants down, this is on TV. It's just a side shot. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh. ah! <laughs> oh, my turn. Ah! Uh, we've set up the old stuffed animal. This is actually a deer. Uh, it doesn't look like a deer, but I'm pretty sure it's a deer. Now, mate, rack it up, shoot it. Good shot, bro. Good shot. Well, I think I managed to sort it out. What I did was I got a, a battery charger. It's actually pretty simple. It's way easier than pulling a toaster to bits. Battery charger, uh, a couple of bolts, coach bolts here. Um, a piece of wire that I bent to shape. Um, I'm actually going to make a couple of bits of wire so I can have some parabolic and some shield shapes. And then I just cut a little bit of plywood here to put the arrow in. Groove there with a hole there, poke it in, spin it round, and she come out mint. I need to shape my wire a little bit better, as you can see. It's not quite the perfect shape, and uh, I think I spun a little bit too fast for that fletch there, but she's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Homemade arrow fletching burner 101, a roaring success.